Are you uh, are you Ryan Hurst or Ryan Clark from Demon Hunter? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Thank you. I'm, I'm actually their manager. And Ryan's one of my best oh, friends. Oh, no, so yeah. And I couldn't make it that day, but uh, pictures are awesome. Good. Yeah, um, so. Uh, when we see you at the beginning of this season, yeah. I don't believe you were one of the guys that actually went to jail, right? You'll be outside waiting. Uh, I'll be outside waiting, that's right. Yeah, I did not go to prison. So you didn't have to do, like, wrong kind of bike. Uh, so you didn't do, like, a crazy haircut or have to lift a bunch of weights or get new tattoos. You're just kind of the same hope, right? No, you know, I've got some new tattoos this, this season, um, but uh, no, just same old hope. Now, when we first met Ope in season one, he was very much kind of conflicted about the underworld and the life of crime and a lot of things in many of the ways that his best friend Jax is. Um, it seems like Opie's a little more at peace after everything he's been through. Is that sort of where he's at this season and is that going to change and evolve in any way? Or mm, I wouldn't say that he's at peace with it. I, I think that he's... He's putting on a good front. He's put, yeah, well he's just dealing with the guilt of making the wrong decision maybe. You know, is that he's, I, I, I think, throughout, you know, you're going to see the effects of what that decision to stay with the club, you know, how, how that negatively affects his life throughout this season. And um, and near the end of the season, pretty drastically. So, you know, I, I think by the end of this season, it'll be a, a major shift in who people identify Opie as. I think um, by the end of the season, might not recognize him anymore. So. Um, now, when you guys are starting a new season, do you, as the actors, get to sit down with Kurt and talk about kind of the arc of the overall season's overall story and then what that means for you, or are you surprised when you get scripts? A little bit of both. You know, beforehand, probably two or three months before uh, we end up shooting, we'll, he'll call us in and we'll sit down with all of the writers and they'll pitch out where, they're, where they say, see things going and they ask us, um, about the emotional content, like where do we emotionally see the characters going, but I usually kind of go in there with a bunch of ideas mapped out too of what I foresee, you know, as solid possibilities of taking the character. And um, as the season goes along, you know, they use some, they won't use others, you know, but it is a, it's a collaboration. So. Uh, last question for you. Um, a lot of great guest stars this season, obviously Hasselhoff, Trejo, uh, Rockman Dunbar, who I loved yeah, yeah, on yeah. Terriers and Prison Break. Uh, do you get to do scenes with most of these guys and any favorites, any highlights? Um, it, you know, we have such a, I mean, Danny Trejo is amazing. I mean, when, when I knew that we actually got him, I was so excited. He's such a rock solid guy. And, uh, and Dunbar's amazing too, you know. Um, that's, you know, sort of, as the seasons go on and the, you know, and Sons becomes more of an institution, you know, is that the, 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 the guest stars kind of flock to it. And it's, a, you know, it's, love it, love it, you know, it just makes, it makes the, the world richer and richer, so.